Biafra, Governor Dave Umahi, wages war against IPOB, orders security agents to invade and disrupt meetings. The report reaching the news desk of Biafra writers has it that Dave Mwarze Umahi, the executive governor of Ebony State has since after the visit to the state by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Marzi Namdi Kanu, started to intimidate and persecute the IPOB members at his home community in Urburu, Orhar, or Zarla Zone. According to the report by a strong IPOB member from the community who pleaded anonymity, told our correspondent that Governor Dave Umahi vowed never to allow IPOB activities in his hometown Urburu, the witness also disclosed that the governor vowed to deal severely with anybody seen with any Biafran theme or items in his community, which began after the massive visitation of IPOB family to Arbarkarliki, the Ebony state capital. According to the anonymous eyewitness, the governor sent members of the special anti-robbery squad, SARS, last Sunday the 30th of July, 2017, during their usual family meeting at the New Market area, Ahir, or Hulu. Based on the report, some men arrived the meeting venue in a bus with cameras and took videos and pictorial records after which they revised and disappeared from the scene. It was reported that some couple of minutes after their departure, men of the Nigeria police force, the SARS unit, invaded the meeting, heavily armed with AK-47 rifles and began to threaten the lives of the IPOB members, violently disrupting and dispersing the crowd of members and attempting to capture and slash or kidnap anyone within their grasp. After the whole incident, we returned to our meeting venue to find out that everything was taken away, our Biafra flags, our table cover which also has Biafran themes was all gone along numerous other items, the eyewitness said. The special anti-robbery squad, SARS, Ebony State Chapter must return their attention to where their duties really lies which is to ensure that lives and properties of residents of the state are secured and protected from armed robbery and their hideouts in the state and refrain from disrupting the peaceful convergence and assembly of the indigenous people of Biafra whose members has ever remained peaceful and unarmed even in the face of extreme provocation. The Biafra writers are by this article, putting the whole world to the know about the evil intentions of Governor Dave Umahi against innocent and peaceful IPOB family members in Yuguru community. IPOB has exhibited peaceful disposition in all her activities. It has never been recorded anywhere that they have been involved in any violent conduct in all her rallies and meetings, and therefore IPOB members have every right to peaceful assembly and association as according to the laws that guide the land, and so, should be left uninterrupted or invaded by the Nigerian security operatives. Governor Dave Umahi must be made to know that no leader has the power whatsoever to decide for the people where they should belong in a democratic process and he must not forget in a hurry that these same people he is chasing around and threatening to kill are the same people who baked themselves in the scourging sun to vote him into office during the last governorship election in the state. And so, if he so much believes in the failed Nigerian state, he must allow others who doesn't share the same ideology with him to have peace since their activities are in line with democratic principles and doesn't constitute any breach of the law. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, is by this report sounding it as a warning to Governor Dave Umahi to desist from this ungrateful, illegal, and malicious act that is capable of endangering the lives of the people, or risk being marked as enemy forever. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. A word they say is enough for the wise.